Hello everybody, um, this is my video for Raspberry Pi Matrix Introduction. Okay, so first things first, you also want to attach your Raspberry Pi and your SenseHot together. Then go ahead and add your USB plugs from your keyboard and mouse into the USB ports on your Raspberry Pi. And then add the HDMI cord to connect to your monitor. And then lastly, you can add power, which will show a really nice display of all the LED colors. Um, which means that your Raspberry Pi is up and ready to go. Then before we start coding, we'll have to update and upgrade Raspbian, which is the Raspberry Pi's operating system. Um, and then you're able to download the package, which allows the Raspberry Pi and SenseHot to be compatible with one another. I included the commands for the update, upgrade, and the SenseHot package in the link below. So if you need those, go ahead and copy and paste them into the terminal. Now that those are downloaded, you're already to actually start coding. So go ahead and open up Thonny and then we can input some code. First setup of code, we've basically just made a really simple, um, organized way of telling the sense hat that we just want everything to be read because we've already made the rule that G equals 255 and then 00, zero which basically makes every pixel red. So when we bring it up on the Raspberry Pi, everything should be red. Now that we get that G equals red pixels, basically, you can also start playing around with the B value, which should be blue, as we said to be 00255. Um, you can play around where you place them on the grid to make different imagery that consists of both blue and red pixels. So you can keep playing around with the pixels. You can change the colors, change the placement, replace Gs and B values all you want to make different the images. Um, Create whatever you want. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I had a good time. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. <laughs>